This is Drawing with Frank. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now I'm here with the Smack camera crew, Awesome, CJ, and Rob, and I thank them for this invitation so we can draw some more. And I've got color pencils today. These are quality color pencils, Prismacolor, and you can have Derwent's a good quality color pencil too. And my colors I have are dark green, a light green, white, black, beige, yellow, and red. And we're going to draw it with a black ink ballpoint pen. And since it's very time consuming to fill in large areas with colored pencil, I'm going to start this in, in the middle of the paper somewhere and small. And I've got a white inkjet paper here from my printer, but you can use any paper you want. But surprisingly, these colored pencils go very well on this, this paper. Now, if you have the kitty colored pencils or the really hard light ones, they won't work for you. So I'm going to start a little patch of grass somewhere in the middle of my paper. Little blades of grass. And I'm going to put a tree on this grass. Little, little crowns and little points going across. And maybe I'll put a boulder over here like this in the front. Put a few dots on the boulder. <clears throat> I'm going to start the trunk of this tree. It's going to be a big tree, but it's going to be small on this paper. And I'm going to put some little holes under here for the rootage. And maybe a squirrel hole here in the middle. A little shadow under it. I'm going to add some branches to this tree. You can put them wherever you want kind of like fingers and as the branches go out they get a little bit thinner we won't need too many branches I might hang a little extra branch over here with a couple of leaves hanging on it now if you think of your broccoli crown I want to put a nice I'm going to start putting leaves on this tree make sure I got enough branches here Little, little popcorn kernel things hanging down. And as I go up the right side of the tree, they're going to be aimed out. And I go up the left side of the tree, add some foliage leaves. And when I get near the top, I'm just going to round it out a little bit. add some more near the bottom of this foliage. It'll give us a little shade and a little texture to the tree. And then near the top, you can add a little more texture. And then here and there, I add these little propellers, three point propellers that work well for me. I've tried two, but they didn't look that good. And then I tried four and that starts looking like a flower. So I kind of stick with three points. Uh, I'm gonna put a straight line over here and I'm gonna try to, with a light pressure, I'm gonna lightly scratch in a little footpath here. And then I'm gonna put another piece of ground over here on the right side. And I want little, textured pieces of grass here and there to fill up the grass and give you a little, a little feel of more more lawn and right here if you want a little guideline with a very light line we can put a pine tree over here and if you want to section it off let each section get a little bit lower <clears throat> now we're going to scratch in the pine tree and your pine tree is going to have more character if you can curve these outer lines like eyelashes. And we can take it all the way down to the ground. And I'm going to scratch in a little bit of shade underneath these uh, branches. And 
Now I need a, a grass line over here because I'm going to put a little dirt path coming around the corner here. So I'm just scratching in the blades of grass and a little sand, a little texture for the dirt path. And we can put a rock in here and a rock in there and a few pebbles. Uh, I'm not going to be able to finish this drawing, but you will. I'm not going to fill this whole paper up because it'll just take too long to fill it in with the colored pencils. But you can add to this picture and fill the paper up if you want to. I'm going to start coloring something. This tree with the light green. It takes some good pressure to get it to fill in nice and bright and rich. You can use watercolor pencils too. They work, but you can't wet this paper. You could draw this on watercolor paper and then wet it. You can see why well, I don't want to fill in this whole piece of paper with colors. Could take an hour or two. I'm going in circles in all directions, whatever it fills in. It takes some elbow grease. down here. And then we're probably going to do some grass too. We'll do a little more grass a little bit later. I want to get this dark blue, dark green out for this dark green pine tree over here. We can fill him in. for you so I can get as much of this done for you as possible. I might get more done than I thought. I don't know. We're zooming along here. Now here's, here's some here's some fun. This uh, tree bark. I got a medium brown here. Could be a dark brown. I'm not sure if it's a medium brown or dark brown. I'm gonna fill it in but not too too full, not medium pressure. Because we're gonna put two more colors on the top of it. So the bark really isn't brown. You might be happy with it like that. But if you put a little black on top of that, light pressure again, just a little bit of black over the brown. Here comes the magic part. You take a white pencil and you go over it and it blends together almost like paint. And you end up with a nice bark color. Smooth and solid. I'm not sure if I had black on there or blue. It worked anyway. I'll do the same thing to the uh, stone. Huh, I thought I had black. A little 
white in here. Now, if you have beige, you can fill the sand in. But if you don't have beige, you can use yellow, brown, and white. So I'll do the rest of it with a little yellow. that white pencil and blend it together and you're going to end up with a nice tan. Well, I want to get some shade in this big tree with the dark green. I got dark green. I'm going to fill the bottom areas in with some dark green. Because the sun is right overhead, shining down. You can even put a little dark green under the tree, on the grass if you like. Put a little shadow on the ground. Now if you want to add some uh, shading to the top branches of the tree, we can do that with the pen. Little lines. And we can add some bark lines to the tree too now. This is zigzagging around with light pressure. Keeps the, thin, the lines real thin. Make some weeds in. Okay, I've got time to add some more grass over here. Maybe a little more grass to it filled in here. Take the yellow and maybe make my grass a little brighter and a little more blended. Because when you put these color pencils on top of each other, they, they almost blend like paint. Uh, let's see, where am I with a pen? I'm going to sneak a little shed in here. There's some shingles on the roof. some boards. Maybe a window over here. <clears throat> I wouldn't color this thing. Maybe some old brown wood. Put a little shadow onto the roof. Take that white and blend it, make it look a little smoother. And that white just smooths it right out. I can make a give it a fancy red door maybe. A blue pencil here for a shadow. Thought I had a black pencil out here, but I don't see it. That's strange. Black one. That's blue too. That's all right. We'll make the roof a little bit blue. Now I got time for a, a pine tree. One of those tall 
pine trees. There it has a few dead branches at the bottom. And it's only got a few branches at the top. all kinds of pine trees. Oh, give them a little bark color. Looks like I'm stuck with dark blue instead of black. Must be in my bag. I'll go over the bark with the white. Uh, it works nicely. I think these pine branches are going to be dark green. Get back and get some more grass in here. I'm going to extend my walkway too. Put another boulder in. I want to give the, the rock some texture. Maybe even a crack. Yeah, I, need, I need more of these little tufts of grass. Here and there. Sneak a flower in over here. Weeds. A little more sand. If you buy a set of quality color pencils, you can get away with a small set of 12. But you won't have gray or beige in it, I don't think. I've got a few sets. Darwin and Prismacolor. And they're like 18 or 24 pieces in one set. Oh, I got a... Uh, I got a boulder sitting here with no color in it. Uh, we could sneak a little uh, forest in the background. Couple little trees out there. that to be a uh, different green than what we've used so far. So I'm gonna go across here with the light green a little bit. I might keep them a little bit light in the background. And here's this little flower over here with two leaves. And uh, we might want some yellow petals. A, a brown center. I don't know, what's that, a black-eyed Susan? I don't know my flowers. I just know the drawing of roses is very difficult. So I got some dark green. I'm gonna go over the forest in the background. There we 
we're getting a lot done, I'm surprised. Sorry if I'm going too fast, but I suppose you could watch it again. Now, if you want to do a little light blue, I, I would never want to fill this whole sky in, but you can see if you do want to do a little sky work, you can lightly try to keep it smooth. You could do a whole sky if you wanted to. But I really wouldn't want to care to do that. I could do some clouds. Yeah, I'm not going to fill this whole sky in. That would be a lot of work. But you can do it if you want to. But see, if you want to sneak some sky in there, you can. I want to get my grass nice and smooth. in the sky. I think I'm going to be generous and add a few more branches to this tall pine tree out here. green. Am I missing anything? I'll do a little detail. A little wood grain to my little shed. Very light pressure, zigzaggy lines. Put a little chimney on here for the wood burner. A little more shade. If your tree is too even, hang a few more leaves on if it's too even for you. Let's fill them in. I'll do the lower ones in dark green and the upper ones in light green. I was in Maine a few weeks ago doing a hike with some friends up there and there was a porcupine up in the tree. I never knew porcupines climb trees. And that's the first porcupine I ever saw in the wild. I took pictures of them. There were some people walking by with their big dog he went after, they said he went after a porcupine once and he was very sorry because he had to go to the vet and the vet had to take out, they said 250 spines out of that dog's face. I didn't think they had that many spines. <laughs> Let's see, we got a few minutes, huh? We could do some more blending in the grass. Looking at a rock. I'm going to 
of the flower in here. How about some red, a red one? If the kids draw this, they can make any colors they want. You can draw more flowers. Maybe I should fiddle with the sky a little bit more. It is nice to have a sky, but trying to fill the sky in completely. It's too much elbow grease for me. No way. my base here for the rest of this sand. Huh. Something hit the floor. I'll take the white. Maybe I can highlight my pine tree a little bit with some yellow. Or at least blend it a little bit more. Yeah, that helps it. It's actually getting greener and smoother. Surprises. Trying to get that. Done. In fact, I, I, in fact, I drew this as a test. I drew this one, and then I made copies. And I kept this as a master, if you want to do that someday, and then I'd color the copy. That was the initial test. But today, we've got this one. It's close. And I can just go on blending forever. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for watching. Here you go, take a hike. And have fun. Thank you.